Let me ask you this, how amazing would it be to hack your metabolism with a simple device? You'd run a test in your home that would tell you exactly what to eat so you could lose weight faster than ever before. That's what a device called Lumen claims to do. Maybe you've seen it before. Take a deep breath and hold it. Right now, you hold in your lungs the secret to sustainable weight loss. You could breathe out now. This is Lumen, the first device for hacking your metabolism. All right, sounds pretty cool, right? What is this thing and how does it work? Lumen is a handheld device. It's a breathalyzer. You breathe into it and it gives you a measure of what's going on in your metabolism. Well, how does it do that? When you breathe into the Lumen device, it's gonna measure your concentration of carbon dioxide in a ratio to oxygen. This type of measurement is called RER or respiratory exchange ratio, which essentially tells you how your body is burning fuel. Is it using mainly carbohydrates or is it using mainly fat for fuel? Sounds pretty interesting right? Especially from a handheld device. But does it actually work? Is it accurately? And more importantly, does it matter when it comes to weight loss? Spoiler alert, no, it doesn't. And how do I know this? Because Lumens reached out to me in the past and I did my research. Here's the deal. This email came through years ago and I thought it was a bit fishy, but I listened to everyone. Honestly, because the thing about the scientific process is that our knowledge is evolving. We learn new things. It adds to what we already know. And sometimes new technology comes around and it sheds light on what you can do to shed fat faster. Now, when it comes to the concept of RER and switching between your body's use of fat for fuel and carbs for fuel, which is sometimes known as metabolic flexibility, which is a good thing, these underlying scientific principles make sense, which I'm gonna detail later. But unfortunately, this still doesn't really matter, especially for individuals. And why is that? Well, in the past, I've had my own nutrition clients who are doing well and they're crushing it. They're following evidence-based principles for fat loss and nutrition. They reach out to me about Lumen specifically, thinking that this new cool tool could be the secret they're missing for ultimate fat loss and health. Smart people get rightfully intrigued by this stuff because of the marketing, which is smart on the company's part. It does sound appealing, but it doesn't mean that you're going to hack your metabolism or lose weight faster. Let's dive into the main claim from Lumen that it improves metabolic flexibility. Again, this is your body's ability to switch between burning carbs for fuel and fat for fuel. And the claim is the more efficiently you can do that, the more efficiently you can do this process, the better results that you'll have. Improving your metabolic flexibility is a good thing, but if you want to know what the evidence says you can do to improve it, it's through these three main things. That's exercise and resistance training, improving body composition or decreasing unnecessary body fat, and a calorie deficit or calorie restriction. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you can do all of these things without a handheld device telling you that you need to do them. So there's this strange disconnect between the device telling you to do something and still the behaviors and actions you need to do to execute on them. This is what you need to get the results and you don't necessarily need this in order to do it. It's like a chicken and egg scenario. Now with this information, with this data, Lumen claims that it can adjust your nutrition plan, typically by eating lower carbohydrate, that you can hack your metabolism, making your body better at burning fat for fuel. And now this is where the Lumen app comes into play. This is the counterpart to the actual handheld device. So you breathe into the Lumen device in the morning before you eat and before you do any training. And with that data and data from the previous day, this information is sent to the app and it's gonna calculate a Lumen score. This score indicates if your body is currently using carbohydrates for fuel or fat for fuel. And that score is used to create a plan for the day, which I'm gonna detail in a second. Now keep in mind, I haven't personally used this device, but I have done a lot of research on others that have. And I have a PhD in human nutrition, so I understand the science well. I'm not out to debunk this app or the technology. I just wanna make sure people are applying the right science to their health to get a result. But you do the Lumen reading and the app starts to present the data. Level one indicates that you're burning mainly fat for energy, which is a low RER score, to level five, which shows you that you're burning mainly carbohydrate for fuel or high RER. Keep in mind, if you eat more carbs generally, you're going to have a higher RER score. And if you go on something low carb, like the ketogenic diet, you're gonna have a low low RER score. Also, lower RER levels are common after workouts or prolonged fasting, like periods of not eating food or overnight fast. But this number doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be losing fat faster. And that's because if you take anything away from this video, take this. A measurement of what's going on in 
your metabolism in the short term doesn't necessarily mean that it's reflective of what's going on in the long term. Think of it this way, and let's use a financial analogy. Let's say you wanna save some money, which in this analogy is going to be losing fat, and you meet a friend out for lunch who is super cheap, and they convince you that your spending habits when you leave your home are out of control. You spend too much money. This is going to be eating carbs. Because they say every time they see you out, you order the most expensive thing on the menu. So in order for you to save money, you gotta quit that. You gotta stop that entirely. Now it could work if you know that that is where all of your money is going, but you didn't look at your overall finances and you forget that three years ago, you purchased a home that you literally can't afford. You can't make the payments on. That's your fat intake. So it doesn't really matter how much cash you spend if you have another major expense elsewhere. And your overall budget, which is going to be the overall amount of calories that you eat, is obviously gonna be the most important thing dictating if you save money or lose money. This is the exact same thing when you look at carb burning or carb oxidation in shorter periods of time. So what Lumen does is take these short-term Lumen scores and starts to make suggestions on how you should adjust your diet to better get you in that fat burning zone. And this includes meal plan suggestions and macros, customized based on your goals as well as that Lumen score. And it does this with the intent of keeping you in that fat burning zone for as long as possible. So you can see the best results. So that's the Lumen approach and the reasoning behind it working. And they also say they give you the why behind the recommendations, but unfortunately the why sometimes is just flat out wrong. For example, the claim right here directly in their marketing materials, your body is full of carbs and converting it to fat. Unfortunately, your body doesn't really work like that. Although your body can convert carbohydrates to fat, it really doesn't do it under normal conditions. If you were technically full of carbs, which means your storage of carbohydrates or your glycogen storage was full, your body wouldn't store new carbs as fat. That's not how it works. Carbs rarely get turned to fat, but excessive carb intake can make you gain fat through indirect ways. Mainly, it would stop releasing fat from your fat stores to be burned off as energy and store new fat coming in from circulating fat stores. Your body is smart, probably smarter than lemon, which makes me believe that this obsession with carb and fat oxidation, especially when it comes to fat loss, misleading at best. Now, here's the deal. Do I think this lumen device is legit? Sort of. Here's what I mean. There has been some research done on Lumen and its validity, meaning is it actually accurate in measuring RER? And from this research, it is. It's pretty accurate in measuring RER. Now keep in mind that some of the authors on these studies are actually employed by the company that makes Lumen, but I don't know their full involvement in the studies. They could just be supplying the equipment. But from these studies, I don't really doubt that it's effective in measuring carbon dioxide levels and the RER quotient. It's been shown to be comparable to the gold standard for this type of measurement, which is going to be the metabolic cart, which most people aren't going to have access to because it's expensive and time consuming to do. You only really typically can do it in research or clinical settings. So from a reliability and point of care standpoint, Lumen is pretty cool, but it still doesn't mean that it's important for the everyday person looking to lose weight. And hopefully by this point, it's starting to make sense. Whether your body is burning carbs or burning fat hardly matters in the big picture when it comes to weight loss. And in fact, it might be the most unnecessary measurement to pay attention to. And it may even be harmful because trying to apply this information or infer too much from it, regardless of how easy the app presents it, could lead you astray. Check out this feedback from an actual user of Lumen. This person stopped dieting because of it, because they felt like they were a failure, because they felt like they couldn't do the low carb settings. There's a better way to manage this in a diet, and it probably means not listening to this information at all. Let me explain. The fuel your body is burning or oxidizing for energy does not automatically result in fat loss in losing actual fat tissue. And this is the exact same thing a lot of big YouTube doctors have gotten mad at me in the past for pointing out. So the assumption is since you're eating carbohydrates, insulin is going up. If you just avoided the carbohydrates, you wouldn't gain fat, but not so fast. But, but that's, that's true. Okay, what's not so fast? But not so fast. The increase in insulin isn't made to make you gain weight or prevent you from losing weight. When insulin is present, your body doesn't stop burning fat altogether. It just does a lot less of it. It slows down the breakdown of fat for new energy. Well, I don't know anyone coming to a weight loss program who wants less fat burning. I, I don't, so I don't, 
I'm not sure if, if Dr. Morris says he has thousands of clients that have done well, which is great. Here's the deal. Fat burning does not automatically result in fat loss. Even if you're burning fat for energy in periods, actual fat loss is only going to come when the net balance of how much you burn over the course of the day is more than how much you store. And you can be in the fat burning zone by eating lower carbohydrate and still gain weight by eating too much overall calories. And this is the sort of disconnect between the science of this stuff and the application you see with lumen. Fat oxidation for a period of time does not mean you're going to lose actual fat tissue. There's a game of checks and balances here. And here's what I think can be the most problematic when using RER to guide a diet plan. After working with literally thousands of weight loss clients, I've come to realize that the simplest plan for weight loss is usually the best. So if you're using something like Lumen and it's telling you on a day-to-day -day basis to eat lower carb for a few days here, more carbs on the other days, and it's deviating so much from day-to-day, -day, it's going to make it tough to control for the total amount of calories, which we've already already discussed is the most important thing for weight loss, not just carbohydrate metabolism. It's also going to make it harder to stick to. If you were my client, we'd find the appropriate amount of carbohydrates and fat that makes you feel good, but also keeps you in a deficit and stay consistent around that. Now, with that being said, I'm all for purchasing and investing money in things that are going to allow you to take care of yourself and feel better. If a client was super interested in Lumen and wanted to use this device, and the result was they were going to start tracking their nutrition and building healthy behaviors, I'd be all for it. To me, there's a placebo effect that could be helpful. I'm not above that. It's the same way I feel with a lot of supplements, even if they're not overly effective. That's not the hill I'm gonna die on. With that being said, you don't need to be doing this stuff. A very comparable thing would be continuous blood glucose monitors. Healthy people do not need to continuously measure their blood sugar, especially when the implications of the readings are gonna be doing stuff that you already know you should be doing. Eating more protein, less processed foods, and eating more fiber and less added sugar. So with that being said, Lumen does appear to be good at measuring RER and metabolic flexibility, but that doesn't mean it's going to help you lose weight faster or hack your metabolism. Personally, I don't think you need to invest in a $250 device to tell you to eat low carbs to lose weight. I'd rather you buy a $250 machine that tells you to eat protein ice cream. Now, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'm gonna have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. Today, we talked all about Lumen and measuring RER and what that means. If you're interested in this science, you're gonna love the relationship between carbohydrates and insulin resistance. I'm going to detail all of that in this video right here. So check it out now and I'll see you in the next video.